Hello, everybody. Welcome to Pop. <laughs> I'm going to keep that. Hello, everybody. and Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I don't know what I just said. It's been a long day. Uh, but I found this story to be funny as well. And I wanted to share it with you because I can see both sides of this. I think this is uh, one of those stories. It's so stupid. But also, I mean, Disney has a right here. This is this is weirdly Let's get to it. Uh, CNN was reporting that a school played the Lion King, not even the good Lion King. They played the live action remake of the Lion King, uh, which they should be fined for not playing the original. Uh, but they played it at a fundraising event for the school. And now a, uh, they have to pay a third of what it raised to Disney. Uh, an elementary school in Berkeley, California, uh, hosted a parents' night out fundraiser. They didn't think playing the 2019 remake of The Lion King would do anything besides keep the kids happy. That was until El Emerson Elementary received an email from a licensing company Thursday, more than two months after the event, saying they had to pay 250 for legally screening the movie. One of the dads bought the movie at Best Buy, PTA President David Rose, uh, Rose told CNN. He owned it. We literally had no idea we were breaking any rules. I mean, I mean, it does kind of say usually at the start of duplicating or screening the film is illegal, but I digress. Uh, while the school doesn't know exactly how the company discovered the movie was playing, was, was playing there wrote. So there's a rat in that school. Some schools like screw this, that parent. I don't like uh, David Rose. I'm going to get him in trouble. Uh, I want to be the PTA president. It's probably what happened. Uh, that sounds exciting though. Uh, it's probably not what happened though. Uh, Rose said the school's PTA was somewhat begrudgingly, will somewhat begrudgingly cover the cost of the screening an email sent to the school by movie licensing usa informed emerson faculty that the company had received an alert that the lion king was screened during an event on december 15th november 15th this is scary so now they have like disney has these like what is this i don't even know what this is open in a new tab has like new uh movie licensing usa look at this a provides public performance license to legally bring the magic movies to across public libraries ah see this was probably just their way to get some press and so now what they've done is they've like, hey, all this press we got for the story, now you got to know how to get for your school. Here's how you license it. This was all probably a scam. Probably did this on purpose uh, to get the. But let's let's hold on that conspiracy. Let's finish this article. Uh, so anyway, they received an alert that it was being screened during an event. Uh, and uh, movie licensing USA manages licensing for Disney and all other and other major studios. And since the school does not have a license. With the company, it's been asked to pay 250 for the screening and 250 per showing of the movie at any future events at the school. At, at any time a movie is shown outside of the home, legal permission is needed to show it as it is considered a public performance, read the email, which was obtained by CNN. Anytime movies are shown without the proper license, copyright law is violated, violated and the entity showing the movie can be fined by the studios. If a movie is shown for any entertainment reason, even in a classroom, it is required by law that the school obtains a public performance license. Movie Licensing USA did not immediately respond or request for comment. The story was first reported in Berkeley side. Some parents are uh, upset about the fine. Rules are rules, and people who break them must face the consequences. But when it comes to this 250 movie screening fee, the issue goes much deeper than licensing. Berkeley City, Berkeley City Council member Lori Drost, who is also a parent at Emerson Elementary, believes Disney is being unfair. This what There was an initiative passed. It's called the Avengers Initiative. Uh, in 1997, that's when I was born, called Proposition 13, which casts the property tax on all land. And so Disney's property tax rates are at a 1978 value, which translate into millions upon millions of dollars a year that Disney is not paying. Dro said, wow, I mean, look at this. City Council's like, hello, Disneyland, but out there in LA, you aren't paying your property taxes. Because of that, our schools are now extremely underfunded. Is it really because of that? Is it really because of the the only Disney? I mean, this seems like a stretch. I mean, sure, I could see the connection slightly. Uh, because of Disney's not paying its property taxes, our schools are now extremely underfunded. We went from the 70s being among the top education systems in the U.S. to one of the lowest. Uh, anyway, so there's uh, some tweets that said, Joe said parents of the school are angry about this new fine, which is which uh, to many low-income families is not a small price to pay. Uh, isn't Berkeley kind of an expensive place to live? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to judge, but it uh, doesn't feel like it's like middle America. Berkeley is like a very wealthy area. Uh, but that said, there's still lower 
class uh, people there. Uh, it's anyway, it's so appalling that an incredibly wealthy corporation is having its licensing agents chase after a PTA after having raised insane amounts of money just to pay teachers, cover financial scholarships, and manage school programs. She's right there. This, that, that is valid, completely true. Schools are underfunded, and parents are going above and beyond to try and raise a little extra funds to get the kids more extra stuff and have some fun. Uh, of course, that was, this was stupid of Disney. To, to, for $250, Disney? Come on. Uh, Disney did not respond to CNN's request for comment. While the school raised 800 at the fundraising event, it is now scrambling to cover the 250 cost of the movie screening. Joe said, however, some people have reached out to the school to help with PTA with donations. We would be enthusiastic about paying the license fee if Disney was willing to have their properties reassessed and pay some additional property taxes. I do like that they're just calling them out, uh, putting them there. Uh, it's like, hello, Disney. Uh, so look, Disney has responded. If you haven't followed the story, I'm going to do that next. But when I first saw the story, look, I'll be honest. Disney has a right. Now, it doesn't make it right, but they have a right, right? That's the problem here. And this whole thing of just realizing that there's now this movie licensing for uh, per, to legally bring the magic of movies to the public libraries, to the K-12 schools across the U.S., our license options satisfy federal copyright requirements to allow you to show movies from the world's best studios anywhere inside your buildings. Look at this. So college, campus, cruises. I mean, do you guys even realize you need to do this? You can't actually sell tickets to a screening, even if you're saying, well, it's for my museum. It's for my nanny service. No, no. you actually have to do it. So um, it's just it's kind of amazing. I, I wish they would say the price. Here we go. Frozen 2 for your cruise. Uh, top releases. We could get the Lighthouse. Uh, let's Can we get available now? Does it tell me how much I can get the Lighthouse to st stream? Uh, they have a lot of new releases. Look at this. Downton Abbey. Joker. Guys, we could screen the Joker at our public library for $250. Maybe you make some money. Here we go. Watch the trailer. Doesn't say how much. Anyway. All right. So uh, join our team. About Us News. I, it doesn't really seem to tell us what this is actually going to mean. Frequently asked questions. Just give us. You've wondered. We've answered. How does it get started? How do I place an order? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, it doesn't really uh, tell you. But anyway, now we know that there's 250 to get it. A Disney movie. Now, look, uh, that whole this whole business model is pretty ingenious because Swank here, what's this Swank Motion Pictures, uh, is just thinking, you know what? We could probably get millions by just getting a lot of 250 fees from a bunch of schools and libraries to get them nervous. And you know what? Let's get some good press because now a lot of schools are going to be nervous to stream Disney movies. They just are. And so now they're going to have to go figure out this site. How do I get the licensing rights? Oh, 250. Okay, well, we made 800. That still gives us 550. Uh, yeah, I think so. 550 in profits. So that might be worth it. Or they're just going to not stream movies, which is sad in itself. So look, I see both sides of this. Disney absolutely has a right. And they could be like, screw you, we're Disney. Yeah, you don't get to just buy the movie at, Blue, at Best Buy and then charge tickets to a bunch of fundraising screenings. But at the same time, Disney, hello, you really want this bad press? No, they don't. And Bob Iger to the rescue. Of course, with all, this this story was getting around. And Bob Iger is like, I, we're not letting this happen. So he's apologized and uh, is going to pay, uh, uh, pay. Apparently, he's going to pay them. Uh, Bob Iger apologized on Thursday during a movie. Uh, he, anyway, so he said, our company, Walt Disney Company, uh, our company, Walt Disney Company, apologizes to the Emerson Elementary School PTA, and I will personally donate to their fund raising initiative. Uh, I mean, that's how you do it. That's just how you save some, some face, right? You don't make it a big deal. You just respond to them uh, in an email. Uh, this was all the same. Uh, this is the same article. But anyway, that was it. So uh, Bob Iger came out of the woodwork to apologize because it was getting bad press. And now he's become the face of the brand. He can't look like he's charging school PTAs to see the dumb remake of The Lion King. Of course. Now, if nobody said anything, you bet your ass he wouldn't have paid. Nobody would have paid. They would have paid and made this company would have made $250. But nothing compared to how much now schools who are notoriously careful, not wanting to get fined and all this other stuff. A lot of schools are going to see this headline and be like, oh, I can't show movies anymore. I got to get the rights. Uh, I can't afford the rights. So I guess they're just not going to get them. And then some of these other venues might get the rights. But uh, this is, look, this is sad for how many movies have you watched at school when the teacher's sick or, hey, we've earned the movie night. You're telling me the teacher's got to buy, like pay $200 to show the kids a movie? No, I think that's stupid. That's really stupid. The schools should have a, uh, especially if they're not charging, uh, that's that's where the thing gets really f the fine line. If we're really going to wrap this up, because there's not much more to say about the story. 
like, of course a school should have the right to f- show a movie for free. It's a school, especially public schools. Uh, private schools, eh, maybe not. Uh, but public schools, come on, what are we doing here? Like, well, first of all, why are we showing The Lion King in public schools? Uh, come on, we could, let's teach him something, not show him this crappy remake of The Lion King and show him the real one. Uh, but for, like, parent nights or fundraisers, PTA things, who cares? Who cares? Bob Iger clearly doesn't care. And so now we know. So would your, do you think schools should be careful? Is this, should Disney have been like, F this, we can charge them. It's our movie. We paid a lot of money for that movie. And of course, even schools, libraries, everybody should have to pay the fair share. Uh, or are you with the school and everyone else saying, F Disney, this is ridiculous. Uh, Bob Iger did the right thing and shouldn't have done it in the beginning with. Now, should they make a bigger say, like, of course, schools can show movies uh, within reason. You can't really open, give a blanket opening to say, yeah, stream Disney movies. We won't be lit- litigious. litigious. Um, but uh, what do you think? Would you uh, do you think schools are going to be more inclined or less inclined to do it? And do you think some people are going to sign up for this new uh, rights thing for for a little bit of the money? Two fifty is not that bad of a deal for a streaming. Uh, the, that's for the rights to a stream to screen a movie. Eh, it's pretty good, especially if you get the cast and stuff. I didn't know it was that cheap. I thought it'd be more, uh, but it makes sense that they would get a percentage of ticket gross. But you can also fudge that. So who knows? Anyway, this story was silly. I'm glad Bob Iger stepped in and took over it. At the same time, who cares? Why don't show movies? Don't charge to show movies. And if you're gonna do it, make sure you don't have any rats in your PTA. They're gonna go tell Disney. My goodness. Or is this company really just out there like checking Facebook groups and? How do you even find that? How would you even, like, someone must live there. Someone in this company must live in Berkeley and go, oh, they're showing a Lion King screening. Yes, let's get them. Let's get them. There's $250 to be made. Can you imagine? It's insane. Uh, What do you guys think? Tell me down below. Hit me up on social media. Uh, And uh, if you didn't hear the big news, check out my last video about Doctor Strange. Uh, I'll be doing some more videos over on Fandom Wire. So go check that story out. Uh, Big, big news. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe. Join Nerd Wars tonight. So much on deck. So thanks, everybody, for the support. Bye.